Cozy is about a muskox. Uh, that's a book I made up, and not very many people know anything about muskox. At least I didn't when I first discovered muskox. My daughter moved to Alaska, and so she said, Mom, you know, there's this muskox farm nearby in Palmer, which is about an hour north of Anchorage, where she lives. You've got to see these muskox. So these animals look like they could have just walked out of the Ice Age. They're majestic. They're... Um, you know, they give you a chill because they look so foreign, like they could have come from another age. In the 1920s, there was a man, John Teal, from Vermont, who uh, was fascinated by them. They were extinct in North America because they were so wanted by their, for their valuable wool. I say wool, it's called kiviat. They were wiped out by humans. And he said, I want to bring them back. There was a population in Greenland. He brought 37 back, and now they're proliferated, so there's maybe uh, a couple thousand. There's some that are wild, because the way that they protect themselves is they turn, they make a rosette. Horns on the outside, in a circle, babies in the middle. They are very vulnerable. But there are predators before, other than man, are wolves, and that's how they protect from wolves. When they found out I was doing a book, I said, I really want to get my picture right with a muskox. So they opened, I noticed they had this big cattle gate, and they said, well, how are you climbing fences? I said, oh, I'm great at climbing fences. They have a taxidermied muskox, and I did get underneath. I wanted to find out what was underneath all that fur. But it's so warm. And I, like, when I go to a cold place, I just take a big, thick piece of kiviat and not knit it at all, just the fur and stick it in my mittens and keeps my hands warm and my feet put my, my boots too. <laughs> and they have very cute little tummies and their legs are kind of stocky and pudgy and they're white and then the fringe comes over it. And when they run, which I've, you see them very, they're very active. And when they gallop, that all flows behind like a horse's mane and is quite dramatic and majestic as they thunder by making their snorting noises.